Oh, that guy's gonna narc on me. Oh, not anymore. Oh, shit. No, that guy's gonna narc on me. Oh, no. No, that guy's gonna narc on me. Oh, no. The cop's here. The cop's here. Run, run, run. run. So we've got another game from Tiny Build. This time we're trying out Party Hard 2. Now I'll be honest, I haven't played Party Hard 1, uh, but from what I see online, I think I'll be fine. So let's just jump in. Let's, let's check out this game. I had some really cool vibes. I know we're a little past Halloween already, but get that cool feeling. <laughs> Ooh, alien. You know. I think the extra stamina and extra help will help out. Let's try out the game we want to be to start off. And I guess we're going to uh, Nightclub 24. Let's check it out. Ooh. Gotta get that coffee. Pills, I guess. Maybe this is New York. Detroit, maybe. Oh. I think I already see where this is going. <laughs> Again? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Yeah, so this is all about the monotony, I guess, of his life. It's uh, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, this is really gonna reach out to those incel groups, isn't it? Like, like the mentality, like the whole, like, woe is me. Let me start off by saying, I, I, we here at Nerd News Social do not condone serial killers. I didn't know I had to say that, but. Okay, so it's early in the morning. Okay, you know what? We here at Nerd News Social change our stance. If you wake us up at 3 a.m., we do condone serial killing. That was a joke, please. Please don't take that seriously. I gotta say, I really love the artwork on the loading screen. It's really cool. I know it's not like really motion based, but I mean, it doesn't really have to be, I don't think. We're waiting for night to club up. Okay. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, kill dealers, kill sorters, had a body, destroy army crates. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so I think I, so I killed somebody. Uh, that guy's gonna narc on me. Oh, not anymore. Oh, shit, now that guy's gonna narc on me. Oh, no, no, that guy's gonna narc on me. Oh no, the cops here! The cops here! Run, run, run! Well, that was... So I guess I would be a very bad serial killer. Because... <laughs> Apparently subtlety is not my game. Okay, let's see. Got one guy sleeping. Okay, what's over here? That's gasoline can. Okay, so you can pick up items to help you. That's cool. Hide body. Okay. Okay, I think I get it. What is it? Burn victim. Lift body. Okay, lift body. Alright, so now I need a dead body, so if he's not dead, he's asleep. Dude, why is that lady calling the cops? I didn't do anything! It's just, oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, hide the body. Hide the body. <laughs> How do I. Oh wait. They're not coming after me. Okay, okay. I think I got this one. Okay. So, got this guy dead. Let's go hide his body. Okay, yeah, the little one dead. Let's hide his body. No cops yet. No body to crime. Oh, I got one of the objectives. I hit a body. Oh, there's okay, there's another there. That's good. Okay. Well, hello. The latest victim on Who I Kills. Oh, he's making it so convenient. Oh, getting close to the trash cans. How nice of him. <laughs> and so it begins. So I have to kill specific people. I've killed two out of four of the dealers. There's still four sorters. So I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Burn victim. Why did it disappear? The fire's gone. Oh. Okay. 
Look at that. Look at the... Oh. I just can't pop the blues. What is booze? Adrenaline bells. More booze. Little few tip. Hide bodies. No bodies, no crime. No bodies, no crime! Okay. Dead. Oh, so that's, that's a trick. Barrel too. Got it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what is going on over here? Haha, -ha, doesn't matter, you're dead. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't find me, don't find me. What security guard? <laughs> okay. okay. You guys just chilling there? Take a Molotov cocktail and throw it. Okay. Oh, where's the Molotovs? It's gasoline. Oh! Hold to crap. I made a Molotov! Okay, let's see. What do I do with this? Okay, so aim. Uh, aim for the with the ammo crates. It looks like. Yes. Oh, I alerted two people. They're freaking out. Oh, oh. Hey, I achieved another objective. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, now he's dead. Okay. Take stun. Do it. All right, all right. Have a stun. Yeah. Well, hello. Ooh, you did too. Oh, I got all the sorters. I that by. Oh, I set a fire. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? What does that mean? What does that fire mean? Never you mind, fire. Never you mind. Just be good, fire. Stuck in our door. Gotcha. You did. Oh, man. I just... There's something so simplistic about the... I set another fire. Okay. It's about hookah, though, so... Something so simplistic about this game, the idea of just coming through here and eliminating people and then I hide the bodies. It's very cleansing almost in a way. This is something good hand. Let's activate that. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the electricity coming from? Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, so I can fry myself as well. Okay, that's good to know. I am dead. Okay, so I've, the cops got me once, and I killed myself once. I was so close to being done. I got the ammo crates, I got the sorters, I just needed like two more dealers, and I hit a body. Okay. Okay. Oh, so that's supposed to be for a live body on that. Oh, that is, that is terrifying. A lot of people over here. Oh no, they saw me. Oh no. Ah! Why am I moving so slow? What can I do to stop the cops? Oh, oh no. Oh, did I, did I hide enough? Did I, did I, oh wait. Nope. Oh! I killed the cop! And well, that's that's that. All right, so I'm gonna take a second and I'm gonna play this game a little bit more, and then we'll come back. So we are back once again. Uh, we tried out a couple of things. I have a couple of tips and tricks. Like for instance, we did activate a lot of things to kill people, like we just did there with the fire. Um, as long as people aren't directly facing your direction, you should be fine killing people outside of the line sight. Uh, so definitely use it when their heads are turned back and forth. Uh, when they're asleep, you can also kill, uh, move them around to kill them in more opportune places. Keep an eye out for holes in the wall. Those usually refer to places that you can sneak in and out. Also sewer mains and um, like some secret doors can do that as well. 
but yeah, if you get the option to pick up a body while they're asleep around other people, I highly recommend it. Um, if you can get away with killing people in your trash cans, barrels, or dumpsters, always do that. Um, trash cans can hold two, barrels can hold, I believe it's either three or four, and dumpsters can hold, I think, close to maybe eight. I mean, they hold a lot more. Of course, size is a big issue. Um, always um, take out the targets as best you can. Now, you have multiple ways you can end the uh, the level. You can either do the objectives, as they say up there, you know, killing four dealers, four sorters, hide a body, destroy the army crates. But you can also finish the level by killing everybody. Um, you know, in case you're feeling a little bit uh, skilled. It is, it's not easy to do, but it is, it's doable. As long as you're, you're cutting a swath and sweeping through, you're pretty much able to, to kind of do that. Just make sure you keep an eye on what you're doing, where you're doing it, and then don't be caught near dead bodies. Um, now, if a person sees a dead body, even if you're not, if you're not near it, they'll still call the cops, but there's no guarantee you're gonna get in trouble for that because they didn't actually see you. You can tell the difference is um, over their head, the green phone call icon means they're calling um, the, yeah, that's a good way to get rid of bodies too. That's really cool. You can do that with the body on that one though. Um, the red, that means they're calling the cops on you. Uh, and you just get like a red line that shows their line of sight where they see you. So just a couple things to take into consideration uh, when you're basically playing the game. But he saw me, I actually use it to my advantage. Now some people will charge after you, some people will run and call. Guards usually come after you, uh, but if they're the roving guards, they uh, it depends really on a lot of factors. Now you can see that those are the ammo crates, like I said earlier, you aim, you basically blow those up, that's one of your requirements, but oops, that, that was just booze. <laughs> Let me craft that first. Another one down, so just gotta kill two sorters and two dealers. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. So three kills away. Always recommend setting off traps if you can. It's distance killing. Oh, yeah, be careful about that. Oh, yeah, I see that trap went off perfectly. Uh, with regards to distance killing, um, if you throw like a grenade or something, if there is a couch, uh, it will block it, unfortunately. I will say, if you're able to pull off a um, mission without alerting the cops, the, every level does have that no 911 call benefit. And that means no 911 calls because of a missing body or dead body. Uh, another thing to warn you about, um, you can do the best you can to hide bodies. If you run out of a barrel space or dumpster space, uh, the main problem you're gonna have is that, um, I was lucky, they didn't see me, they just saw the body. Uh, if you pile up bodies, people will still find them. Even if you hide them or put them around corners, for some reason the game, I guess like maybe a friend's looking for a friend and they'll actually investigate. So you could like hide them literally in like the boondocks, the far corner of the map, and someone will eventually at some point walk over and just find a pile of corpse.
I've got one more feeler I have to kill. I will say this game is highly replayable because of the, um, the fact that the map changes out, the items change out, um, even some items on the map, like traps and stuff, will swap out on some maps. The, the really cool thing about it is because there's so many different ways to beat the level, so many different uh, like objectives that are hidden, um, you do get that, you know, want to come back and finish off mentality. And then when you unlock other characters, uh, it, it does it all over again. Well, so now we have found the last dealer. Hide the body for good measure. And then you can just go to the exit point and leave. But, you know, why not just fuck around a little bit first? <laughs> Oh, be careful about the maid up there in the top right. Um, like the cops, it does not kill her with one attack. It takes multiple usually to get the job done. So, success! Uh, you unlock more things in the game that you can find in crates or around by filling up that, those little bars. So the type of them, there's the cop bar, the stealth bar, the kill bar, and the mystical bar. Um, each one has a little marker if you hit it, get a benefit. Um, and as you progress through the game, you will get these little cutscenes between them that showcases all the horrible things you've done in the aftermath of it. And like the people trying to talk about you, the serial killer, the party hard killer, as they call you. But I mean, it's it's pretty cool. There are multiple levels. The story is okay. I mean, it's, it's not like groundbreaking, but it's engaging enough for what the point of this game is. This game literally is just you get to kill things. And while I'm not exactly supportive of the idea of murder, uh, there is a, a good, like, you know, there's a technique, a strategy to it. It's no, no much more worse or better than, like, a stealth game, like, where you have to secretly go around and sneak, kill the guards in there in a game, which is a pretty regular trope in video games. So I would not call this a bad game it's really fun really addictive and you find yourself even without like the high-end graphics or the motion um you know for the cutscenes, you do find yourself engaged in it so i would definitely recommend checking this game out thank you guys so much for seeing our videos uh please like and subscribe we probably won't have any more for the party hard killer but we do have a lot more games coming out videos coming out um and hopefully as the, uh, the world reopens. We'll have a little more different content for you. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you again. Bye.